hi students uh, i am dr siddharth sethi a pediatrics consultant and will be talking about today a very important topic of urinary tract infections in children and remember in your exam you will very commonly get a question related to uti because the all india institute consultants all of them made the guidelines for uti way back in 2011 so i'll just show you a a, a very common case a one year old boy who comes to you with fever unexplained fever and vomiting so there's no focus for this fever and he has vomiting and he got a culture confirmed uti so remember whenever we say urinary tract infections it means culture proven urinary tract infection now first of all my question to you is how do we define uti now whenever a patient comes to the emergency what we do is we do some tests first of all we look for urine analysis but remember urine analysis is not a substitute for urine culture you have to do a urine culture to prove that it's a urinary tract infection now you can see pus cells in the urine now how many pus cells on a centrifuge urine when you centrifuge the urine more than 5 wbcs per hypa field is a significant leukocyte urea on a centrifuge urine if it's not centrifuged then we say that you look at more than 10 wbcs per millimeter cube but remember any bacteria in 10 oil field so remember bacteria is always significant now remember whenever we do a urine examination on your multi stick you get a multi stick and we have multiple tests on that stick leukocyte esterase nitrite so remember these bacteria they metabolize the nitrite so they produce nitrite leukocyte esterase or nitrite so remember if you look here you'll find that a combination of leukocyte esterase or nitrite is a very sensitive test in the emergency okay so in your exam they may ask you this child is febrile and on the urine examination his leukocyte esterase was positive his nitrite test was positive so remember they are very sensitive for uti nitrite is the most specific test for uti in the emergency okay any of these if it is positive they are very sensitive okay so as you can see here nitrite or leukocyte esterase they are very a combination of these is very sensitive to diagnose urinary tract infections but remember urine culture is still the gold standard to diagnose urinary tract infections okay so this is just the in the emergency to have an idea okay now which is the best test all of you ask me in classes sir which is the best specimen so remember a suprapubic any number on suprapubic is specific for urinary tract infection a suprapubic is the best specimen okay suprapubic catheterization otherwise we always do a mid midstream clean catch midstream sample then you need 100000 colony forming units per ml of the organism okay so remember on a clean catch midstream you need more than 10 to the power 5 now bag specimens if you just put a bag on the child's pubic area they are very highly falsely positives but remember bag specimens have a very good negative predictive value so if a bag specimen is negative it means he is not having uti okay so remember it means he is not having uti and clinically these criteria are not rigid if you have a patient who is very sick even if your midstream sample shows 10000 you can still take it clinically okay now how do we investigate let's first talk about how do we investigate urinary tract infections and all of you remember that you need to do an ultrasound in every child with urinary tract infection and on your screen is an ultrasound and i can zoom it for you uh, this is the right kidney showing severe hydronephrosis and uh, this is the left kidney showing severe hydronephrosis or you can see the calluses here and if you look here you can all of you can appreciate this child has very thick wall bladder urinary bladder is such thick wall urinary bladder so we say whenever the thickness of bladder is more than 5 mm it's a thick wall urinary bladder now i am currently the secretary of indian society of pediatric nephrology so uh, in our country we have a society of pediatric nephrologists and what we thought of in 2011 we gave guidelines so every child who comes to you with uti if he is less than 1 year he should get all of these three tests this is a very important mcq everyone every infant with uti 
get all three ultrasound mcu dmsa now between one to five years we get ultrasound and a dmsa to look for scar we get dmsa after eight weeks if any of these is abnormal we do mcu okay now after five years we just do an ultrasound if it is abnormal then we do other tests okay so remember infants we should always do all of these three investigations on your screen is a, a very nice micturating cystourethrography this child is micturating and you can see grade 5 vesicouretic reflux so remember vesicouretic reflux is the most common cause of uti in children almost half to one third of uti in children is caused by vur and the investigation of choice is a micturating film now on your screen is another mcu where you can see a valve here you can see a bladder with a, a very narrow neck this is a posterior urethral valve okay so remember sometimes uh, and uh, we live in uh, and we very commonly see these children with in fact walls you can see a dilated posterior urethra here with walls okay this is a dmsa scan showing a very small left kidney this left kidney is very small and you can see it is poorly functioning left kidney so dmsa tells us the function and the scar so remember dmsa is the investigation of choice for scarring now i will what do we do in these children vur so i'll just tell you two important things remember less than one year less than one year any vur resolves so we just put them on antibiotic prophylaxis okay so if your patient is less than one year no surgery just put them on antibiotic prophylaxis any vur less than one year just put them on antibiotic prophylaxis and the antibiotic of choice is cotrimoxol trimethoprim now second statement remember if it's a, a low grade vur it can resolve over time low grade vur any age can resolve over time so if it's a low grade vur we just give antibiotic prophylaxis surgery is only for older children who are having breakthrough utis who are having deterioration of the kidney function so i would say surgery is only for bilateral grade 4 grade 5 urs in older children who get breakthrough utis deterioration of the kidney function okay so remember they will just ask you this question a six month old child had a bilateral grade 5 vur what will you do you'll just wait for the vur to resolve in a six months old child so remember less than one year wait it will resolve as this child will grow over time okay thank you and good luck for your exam my name is uh, dr siddharth sethi i'm always there uh, this is my email and i'm on facebook on pdf for pg okay Remember, uh, if you are on DAMS exclusive club, we have categorized all the questions and all the posts in terms of subjects. So just write pediatrics or neontology. You will find multiple topics by me on the same subject. You can even search my hashtag. Thank you.